back in the 14th century, and imagine there were these three stone cutters. And you walk by the first stone cutter, and you say, what are you doing? Or in French, I guess it would be gay. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> and the stone cutter says, can't you see? I'm earning a living. Stop disturbing me. OK? First stone cutter, earning a living, working hard, sweating maybe. Second stone cutter, same question. Sir, what are you doing? And the stone cutter says, I'm the best stone cutter in all of Paris. And with pride, he's continuing to hit on his stone. So the first stone cutter didn't have that sense of meaning. It was a transaction. Why are they working? For the paycheck, right? It's a, they're selling their time for money. No meaning there. The second stone cutter had engagement. They took that pride in the work. I'm the best in all of Paris. They had some one of the pillars of, of well-being or happiness going. It was the engagement. The last stone cutter we go up to and say, sir, what are you doing? And this stone cutter doesn't stop but looks up, his eyes gleaming. And he says, I'm building a cathedral. Right? And so that's what meaning is. In fact, cathedrals take longer to build than most people's lifetime. Maybe he's never going to see that cathedral being built. But he has a vision of how his work is going to impact future generations. Right? He has that sense of purpose. So crafting meaning for your work and your company, I think, is, is, is essential. Is essential to this idea of engagement and happiness. And it's not about your business. It's about the story you tell about your business and how it impacts people.